This is the world's largest LEGO bowling alley. It is fully automatic and uses those three EV3 bricks to control 12 motors and 12 sensors. I've spent the last six months uploading seven episodes to YouTube, documenting my journey building this. So if we turn on all EV3 bricks and the two sets of LEGO power function lights, we can bowl. So now we get a pick from any of the bowling balls. Let's just go with the first one here. Now, let's see if I can get a strike. After you bowl, the machine waits a second or two and then drops the pin sweep and flashes red to tell you not to bowl again. And then the carriage begins to go down. With the carriage now down, it then picks up the pins that I did not knock over. Once those are up, the sweep's gonna run to push those pins into the collection. Those pins join the other set of 10 pins that are being cycled currently. If we remove this glass to see a little better, we can see that the pins are constantly being cycled. Those get taken up and go to the framer on the top of the machine here. The machine always has 20 pins in it. That way, when you knock over all 10 or they get sweeped over, the other 10 are already up here, where they are framed in the set of 10. While these machines are running, is also the other systems. While all that's running, it's cycling my bowling ball, which I currently see on the way up. The center screen also has a pin counter. Right now it's at five, and now it's counted all six that we knocked over. And there's my bowling ball now. With the pin sweep now up, and that up there being green, we can bowl again. So now, the machine's going to sweep the playing field, and because of that, it doesn't want to bowl again, so it's still flashing red. Here's another view of everything that's going on inside. So, right now, the pin sweep just went, and the 10 pins that we just played with are now being reloaded, but the other set of 10 pins are now being deposited into the carriage. And now that they are, the 10 pins we just played with begin getting cycled into that framer. Like a real bowling alley, this 20 pin system minimizes wait times. While it's dropping those pins, the EV3 brick on the left displays a frame counter going from frame one now to frame two. So, now that all the pins are dropped, and there's my ball, that's going to go up, and then the pin sweep is also going to go up. Now we can bowl. That one's green. Upon pressing that button, the sweep goes down and sweeps the whole lane instead of picking up the pins because it knows that we now got a strike. Let's do an uncut frame. So I'm gonna start the program. That's the initializing program. So it's gonna sweep the lane to make sure there's nothing that's gonna get in the way of the initial set of pins. And then once it's done sweeping, it's gonna set down those pins and afterwards I can start the rest of the program. So now let's start the other programs and bowl. I got all of them, but one. So now it's going up to pick that pin up in the back. Now that that pin is lifted up, it can sweep.
Now we can go for that last pin. And I got it. Each EV3 brake displays something different. This one displays the frame count, which automatically goes up every time. This one says pins counted currently at zero, but if you knock down pins, it'll count them. And this one says waiting for bowl. That one displays the status of the machine. The bowl is detected by either this sensor or that sensor. And then it tells this EV3 brick to sweep. And then the sweep trips that sensor, which tells this brick to begin the treads. And then the button back there is tripped by when the carriage goes down and that tells this brick to begin. These three sensors backwards communicate up here from the different EV3 bricks. This one counts how many pins have gone through it and update that tracker. This one counts how many pins have gone through it to then know where to put them. And that one detects when that final pin has been put there and the carriage can go down. While you're bowling with one set of pins, the other set is reloading by doing backflips. Literally. The heavier side of the pin hits that green bar first, so whichever way it begins oriented, they both go down the right way. When the framer is ready for another pin, the lift continuously spins until that button on top detects the pin. Those pins go here, where they are dropped into their respective slot for the frame. After the tenth pin is deposited into the frame, that first EV3 brick detects that. That signal then gets passed through the program, and if you've already bowled, it then deposits the pins into the carriage. The ball is taller than the pins, and thus can't fit under that railing, so instead it gets hit by those chains, and goes across and down the chute. Here we can see that the ball goes over that piece, and then stops there. That's detected by a sensor right there. Then it is pulled up the chain lift. Then the chain lift goes back down and tucks under the track. Like so. Thank you guys so much for all the support over this series. I now encourage you all to subscribe as it's always free and that way you don't miss my next video.